Okay, so we're back. Uh, trailing edge is the underneath trailing edge is all glued on. That's dried overnight. Very happy with that PVA, the new PVA I'm using. Now, next step is the leading edges. Now, the first thing to note in the pic in the build pictures that you get sent, it shows the leading edge like that. Now, obviously, they've listened to their customers and there's been some changes so I the leading edge goes on there like so so there is a little bit of a gap uh, here because obviously there's going to be a structure to build here so what I'm going to do with this is I want again to use a wood glue but what I am going to do is I am just going to drop a little bit of super glue just there and a little bit of fast acting super glue just there but the rest of it I'm going to add the wood glue uh, the only thing is, is obviously what I don't want is doing that and I thought what's going to be the best way to support that so uh, those two areas in here and there I know is not going to worry about sanding now because I know there's going to be a nice cap strip which runs across the top of here I don't particularly want to be having super glue here it doesn't sand as nice as a wood glue so that's why I'm doing that so just be aware that there should be a gap here between these two leading edges so that's okay the next. so I have glued my leading edges on and that worked perfectly so I put my wood glue into all the joints and just in that corner and in that corner when it was all held in I'm holding it to just holding it in place put a little bit of super glue in there but a bit, bit of quick acting silo and they're holding beautifully now and remember there's a gap there now this is a real critical stage and I think it's worth me uh, rambling on a little bit just to make sure that we get this correct now as it stands at the moment if you look in the build pictures you go from this to seeing that now Andy um, is going to sort that with those pitches out so it doesn't finish like that so the idea is yes you're going to need that but you're also going to need this little pack of wood here because this is where we're now going to go on to some sheeting now these chaps here on that pack there are actually inserts so the idea is they are going to sit in all the way down the trailing edge and I've looked at the measurements and I would say I, I might be wrong but I would say outer outer and then so what I'm saying is is that that one is the outer the next one will be the outer for the outer, other side wing and so forth so you're actually going to work your way in that's what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to glue these in place uh, you might need to just I mean it would be absolutely nothing but it might just need a little bit just a tiniest little bit of sanding just to get that to drop in place and there you go that's dropped in place now so that's going to finish there and then the idea is you'll be going oh it's standing proud so that's then going to sit on there like so let me get that around the right way that's going to sit on there like so now yes they're going to be standing proud at the moment no don't worry about it because what's going to happen is is that you will have here are the cap strips which are going to run along every rib but to start off with my next process is gluing all these intersections in place for the trailing edge then I'm going to before I glue the top trailing edge you're going to need this piece here again notice that it's got the little curves to it uh, at the front the little cutouts and that's going to sit on there like so now if you get that in place then you can then offer up the trailing edge and that's how you're going to end up with a lovely neat joint so 
So when I come to glue this, um, I'm going to be gluing this, that and that all combined and then there's going to be some more infilling of cap strips up the sides. Um, but that's a fair bit, doesn't seem a lot, but that's a fair bit to be cracking on with. So that's the next process. I'm sorry to have whittled on, but I think it was worth mentioning. Okay, these I'm very quickly just going to wick a little bit of super glue in here. And then the next stage is I'm just going to offer up this centerpiece, remembering that the um, little cutouts meet. And then when I've clean and sanded both the trailing edges, I'm going to offer them up and get them sorted. And then I shall be then gluing those onto uh, the trailing edge inserts and then this first little bit of rib. So that's the first little bit of sheeting that we're going to be doing. Quick tip, as I'm going along here, all I'm doing is, is just butting up the end of this set square like so, so that I know if that's touching the ribs either way and then pushing that little filler in, I then know I'm going to get a lovely straight edge. Okay, so we've put the infills in. Uh, so the next thing is, is we want to put the top of the trailing edge on. We're going to pop this plate on here. It goes there like so. Now, we also need this square here, which I am going to remove. And I'm just going to show you where it's going to go. I'm going to talk through the process and then I'll finish off come back so the idea is this is going to sit here and on this sheet here that's some wide capping strip there so we're going to also need two of these I am going to clean these up but I'm just cutting one out because I'm going to show you where it goes See the angle's already cut, beautifully thought out. So the idea is that is then going to sit on there. So what I am going to do now is I'm going to get them all ready. And uh, they might, some of it you might just need the odd little modelling pin if you've not got any weights. But that's how roughly is the next stage. This is the stage I'm going to do. I'm going to use wood glue, um, and I'm. I'm calling it a night for that then because I want this all to dry and then we'll carry on doing the cap strips and the front sheeting as well next episode.